This is BBC News. I'm Joanna Gosling. Our top stories. The UK is to issue temporary visas for thousands of foreign workers to ease disruption to fuel and food supplies, while the government urges the public not to panic buy petrol. There's actually plenty of petrol to go around. This is an unnecessary uh, situation where there are queues that are forming, even though we have all the fuel that we need in the refineries and storage centres in the UK. Detectives investigating the murder of Sabina Nessa have arrested a 38-year-old man on suspicion of murder in what Scotland Yard said was a significant development. Germans go to the polls as the country decides who it wants to lead in the post-Angela Merkel era. The Labour leader Keir Starmer pledges a tax raid on private schools if he wins power. At least three people are killed and dozens more injured as a train derails in the American state of Montana. And a shock defeat for Britain's Anthony Joshua, who's lost his world heavyweight titles after being beaten by Alexander Yusik of Ukraine. Hello and welcome to BBC News. More than 10,000 workers will be given temporary UK visas in a government U-turn designed to stop supply chain disruption ahead of Christmas. It comes after a shortage of drivers led to fuel delivery problems at petrol stations and empty shelves in supermarkets. 5,000 fuel tanker and lo food lorry drivers will be eligible to work in the UK for three months until Christmas Eve. The scheme is also extended to 5,500 poultry workers. The British Chambers of Commerce says the latest announcement is like throwing a thimble of water on a bonfire. Here's our business correspondent, Katie Austin. <laughs> 